live from the nation's capital. It's the truth conductor. He's up in the house. Yeah. How y'all doing? Man, I just want to drop a little nugget in on you today. All right. Uh, man, when I woke up this morning, all I heard was weather the storm. That's, that's all I heard this morning. When I, when I woke up, it was about a little after four. I just heard weather the storm. And man, it's some people out here gonna have to weather the storm. There's a storm brewing that's on the horizon that a lot of people are ignoring. They don't believe it's real. They don't think it's true. They think all of this is just made up. But it is a storm on the horizon. And some people going to have to learn how to weather the storm. And right now, we're in an environment where good don't matter. It don't pay to be good. It don't pay to so good right now in this environment because the only thing that's prospering is wrong that appears to be right. Let me say that again. The only thing that's prospering right now is wrong that's appearing to be right. And we're, we're accepting this. Look at the precedence that we're setting right now. See, all of you people that thinking because you getting what you want, look at the presidents that you're setting now because you're going to be on the other end of this stick sooner or later. And you ain't going to like it when you're on the other end of it. See, we don't, we don't want to stand up for what's right. I keep telling you, man. How 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 can you got how can you have judges that have spent their lives trying to do it right and all of a sudden somebody that ain't even qualified can jump in front of them and get that position and this judge is still gonna have to go back and render fair decisions to people even when they've been treated unfairly they got to render fair decisions come on man who you fooling especially when some of these people don't look like you don't talk like you why should you care when, when you've done all you could do that was right and it didn't work, what message are we sending to young people? And see, and this, is, this is the thing that I, I, I think a lot of people are not grasping right now. What, are we, what message are we sending the young people that's going to be responsible for us when we're old and can't defend ourselves? Look at what we're telling them. It's okay to cheat. It's okay to lie. It's okay to be dishonest. And you can make it all the way up to the President of the United States or the Supreme Court. I mean, that's just the reality of it is. We're telling young folk right now, man, fuck your hard work. And your integrity too. It don't mean shit. Your integrity and your hard work in America ain't don't mean shit right about now. Because it don't matter. It's all about who knows you. For you to get ahead. For you to be able to get something. For you to be able to achieve something. See, in this environment now, unqualified people can circumvent. They can jump ahead of the line. All because of who they know. Or who knows them? They jumping in front of the line based on who knows them. Is it fair to the people that have done it right? 
that have, that have sacrificed and worked hard all their lives to try to get this opportunity. And then when it becomes available, just because somebody is kissing somebody else's ass, they can get in front of the line. And you're supposed to be okay with that. You're supposed to go along like it don't even bother me. This this is this doesn't even phase me. That somebody that ain't even qualified can jump in front of me and get a position that I don't work all my life for, man. I done sacrificed a lot to get myself in this position. And see, and the people that's in the position ain't going to be able to handle the, the clout and the power in no way, so they're going to screw up because they ain't going to be able to, they, they, they're not going to be able to handle that kind of responsibility. And and you don't think, everybody know you done got there, you ain't supposed to be there anyway, so they automatically, gonna be every little least little mistake you're going to make, buddy, they're going to pounce on your ass. You think you got your chest blowed out now because you got a lifetime position. So you think. And it's going to end up being a lifetime of shame because you're not going to be able to keep it. I mean, I mean, you know, it, uh, people have, have, you know, uh, uh, jumped all over me about, you know, coming in here. Oh, look, look at you. You begging for money and you doing this. And man, I'm trying to help people. So, so if I'm taking, God's method of sowing and reaping and showing you how, see, we're, we're only supposed to apply the principle that God has given us. He will give the increase. So if I can demonstrate the principle of sowing and reaping to you, that's, that's, a, that's God's principle. It's up to him to give the increase. That's not, increase don't come from me. Increase comes from God. And sometimes it's having the patience to wait on the increase from God that causes us to make such rash and hurried decisions. Okay? Man, we, we, get ready to weather this storm, man. By now, you, you, you should have figured out Everything that you can survive without the Netflix, the, the the cable, you know, all of the other little, little French benefits that you've been enjoying. By now, you should have you should have a clear idea of what you can survive with and what you can survive without. Because a lot of y'all right now seeing some stuff that you've never thought for one minute that you'd be able to go without it. And this, this virus has shown you that some of the very stuff that you thought you could go without, that you no longer, that it has forced you to be able to go without it. And you, you see a different you. you. If you can't see a different you with what you've been through, man, you better check yourself. Let me say that again. If you don't see nothing different about yourself through all of this pre-virus, forget about post. I'm talking about pre right now. If you don't see anything different about yourself, if you ain't learned nothing about yourself, man, you better check yourself. Something ain't right. Something is not right. That, that That's just the way it is. Listen, hey, hey man, right now, this is where it's going to have to be. Okay? Because there's a lot of foolishness on, on this on this platform. And I really don't feel like dealing with the bullshit. I mean, just straight up. I just don't feel like dealing with the bullshit. Okay? So I can come on here, man, say my little piece, and get my ass up out of here. I'm gone. You know? And, and that's just the way I, I'm going to have to carry this. I don't care because if I ain't got no numbers, it don't matter. Because with all the numbers that I had, look at the confusion that came with it. You know, man, we we gotta we gotta we gotta change this climate, man. This this this, this climate in the whole world needs to be addressed, man. 
You can't you can't do good no more. You know, it's 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 like, wow. People people don't even believe in good no more. Even when you're trying to stand up and speak what's right, you 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 you're targeted. And Lord knows I know about that. You know, I, I, I know about how, how I can see how, you know, some folk are get like that with Mata, Metro, 605th Street, Washington Metro, Paulson Transit Area, Transit Authority, ain't nothing but some garbage. Metro, that's right. You know, because don't, don't, that ain't nothing but garbage down in that building, man. I'm, I'm glad that joint closed down. Serious, straight up. Because ain't nothing but garbage up in there. You know, anytime them rascals can send you two different termination letters and you still lose the case <laughs> and and both of the letters were lies and you still lose your arbitration hearing, you know that's corrupt. That That is corrupt. I, I'm going to be Metro's worst nightmare. Y'all, y'all fucked over the wrong person. You fucked over the wrong person. Yes, you did. I know 10 years, Ferline boy, you thought I'd be dead and gone by now. You and Ted Harris. Yo, know, Ted Harris, he up in Washington State somewhere running somebody's uh, transit. Uh, sorry, and this joker slipped a letter in my file that was a straight up lie saying I was fired for workplace violence and sexual harassment. And he got promoted. You know, my life was destroyed and this Bama gets promoted up in Washington State. Running somebody's transit is a snake in the grass. Enjoy yourself, Mr. Harris. <laughs> Enjoy yourself, buddy. Yeah. You know, and my shop steward, Rudy Gardner, he's the president of Teamsters Local 922. So yeah, I, I know I know a little bit about this subject I'm talking about. Man, it don't pay. Ain't nothing changed in 10 years. As a matter of fact, it's done got worse for you to stand up and speak out. They're going to make a target out of you, man. I see why people put up with the garbage they put up. They don't want to be targets. They don't want their lives, their lives disrupted for standing up, speaking the truth. So they, 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 they you know, it ain't none of their business as far as they concerned because they ain't trying. And now, look, the virus done disrupted all of y'all stuff. All y'all disrupted now. All oh, y'all disrupted now. All oh, y'all disrupted now. Didn't see this coming. Nobody saw this coming. I I wish somebody would get up in here talking about they saw this virus coming, that they saw this predicament coming. And if you saw it and you didn't warn nobody, you should be kicked up your behind. You know, if you saw all of this coming and you didn't warn nobody and you didn't say nothing, you should be kicked up in your butt. So don't be going talking about, I knew this was coming and you didn't warn nobody and you didn't say nothing and you saw all this devastation and you kept it to yourself. Come on, man. Give me a break. Okay, give me a break. Man, weather this storm, man. One of the ways you're going to be able to weather this storm, you can't take this personal. So a lot of people are going to take this as a personal attack on them. It's not a personal attack on you. It's just a process that you got to go through right now. This is a part of the process. And you have to keep reminding yourself, this is a part of the process then I got to go through. This ain't the devil picking on you. Adversity guards the door to success. <clears throat> Adversity guards the door to success. The closer you get to the door of success, the more your life is going to be turned upside down. And you think it's the devil. But it's in reality... You're close to the door of success. If success was so easy, how come everybody ain't in it? Say that again. If success was so easy, how come everybody not successful? How come everybody ain't rich? If it was so easy, 
Why, why do people have to do all of this crazy, stupid, degrading stuff just to get some fame or what they call success if it was just that easy? You know, you, 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 got, you got reality stars now that were on the reality television stars now that ha are, are, are reverting to OnlyFans page of having to show themselves sexually to generate some money. Look, look at what we're telling our young people. Man, that you can't come out here and be a positive influence and be somebody that care and, and that want to make a difference and, and be supported and accepted. Look, look at what we're telling young people now. Is that we don't give a damn about your hard work. We don't care anything about your integrity. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, if you got integrity, you know, you square, you lame. And that's that's the way they're carrying it now. Anybody, anybody with integrity is lame now. You know, you 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 out of joint, man. You you now what you mean? You got integrity. You you stand for something. What do you mean? That stuff don't work now. That that's not what we need. We don't need that. Okay. <laughs> Boy, I'm telling you. Some folk, um, that they don't know when enough is enough. I had some people, man, they don't they don't know when to leave well enough alone. They keep on poking and prying. Keep on poking and prying. You know, and uh, I'm gonna tell you now, whoever you are. Leaving all these messages, man, that shit, I, I don't even listen to that shit, it's deleted. As soon as you're leaving, I'm deleting them. I don't even want, I don't even want to hear that shit. So you're really wasting your time. Because every time you leave one, because you can't get me directly, and you're going to mess around one time, and, and your number ain't going to be blocked. And you're going to call me, and I'm going to get your ass. I'm going to find out who you are. You're going to make a mistake. Because you're, cause you're too anxious right now. You're too anxious. You're going to make a mistake. And I'm waiting for you, buddy. I'm going to wait for you. You're going to make, I'm going to get your number. And I ain't going to have to raise one finger to get it. You're going to make an accident. You're going to make a mistake and your number is going to pop up. And you're going to think it was blocked. And I'm have it. And you're going to leave your stupid ass message. That's how you're going to get caught. That's exactly how you, I'm telling you now how you're going to get caught. That's how you're going to get caught. Show is you're going to make a mistake and think your number is blocked. And you're going to leave me one of the more crazy messages. And see, until we can get rid of these people that's exhibiting all of this hatred. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to figure. Um... Didn't, didn't, didn't the Confederates lose? I, I, how you going to be a loser and still expect to have the same kind of respect? And you lost. But you that important that you, you got to be front and center. But you lost. You lost. Yeah, leave me another voicemail. I ain't going to listen to that shit. As soon as I get done with this live, I'm erasing that shit. So leave me, leave me, leave as many as you want. Because I know you're watching, you little dick motherfucker. You know you're watching with your little dick. Leave me another, leave me another racist ass voicemail with your little dick. Little white boy with your little dick motherfucker. Yeah, that's, that's why you don't like me. Because I can talk shit about your little dick motherfucker.
That's why, that's why you don't like me. That's why you leave me all these old threatening messages. Because you got a little dick. You insecure. You think, you think I'm supposed to be impressed by your threats and all this other. Man, it's garbage, man. It's garbage. Garbage. Your little fish throw you back. <laughs> Throw that fish back, boy. You a little fish. Throw you back, brother. You 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 ain't even worth dressing. Yeah, that's how bad it is. That's, that's how bad I'm going to treat your ass. So leave me another voicemail. Leave me another voicemail. So, your stupid ass. Yeah. In the meantime. You know this 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 pay per view is kicking my butt. I ain't lying. I I, I I'm t you know I, I, that's why I need my own app. This this is why I need my own app, so I don't have to go through this stuff right here. So I can book my tours, man. I can do a virtual tour from my own app. That's that's why I got to get my own app. You know to to get away from this crap, man. So if I want to do a virtual pay-per-view tour, I can do it right from my own app. I ain't got to depend on nobody. I ain't got to do nothing. Okay, and that's and I'm gonna get it. I'm, I'm gonna have my own app this year. I'm gonna have my own app this year. Matter of fact, I'm gonna have two of them. I'm gonna have one for Capital Buddy Tours and one for the True Conductor. Both of them I have. I'm gonna have my own app for both. I show sure in. Don't know how I'm going to get the money to pay it, but I'm going to get it. Because I see it in my mind. I need I need my own app that I can do both of them. That's right. And see, and, and, and go to show you, like I, I t I'm telling y'all, to weather the storm. You know, see now, wh what have you leveraged? These months that you've been off, what, what, what have you leveraged? You know, what, what What have you gained that you could use as leverage? Did you educate yourself something? Did you expand your knowledge base? Did you take on another craft or something? I mean, what kind of leverage have you participated in since you've been off? Or have you just used this time to stay up late, eat ice cream, and do all other dumb shit that you're going to do? Because you think everything going to go back to normal. You know? A lot of people wasted this time, man. A lot of people wasted this time. They did not take advantage of this time they had. And because they didn't, they're going to have to weather the storm. And when you have to weather the storm, I can tell you from experience, don't personalize it. Don't personalize it. This is when you need to be the most giving. And this is probably when you need to volunteer most. Because your main objective is to keep whatever is on your mind off. You want to keep your mind occupied. Because your adversity is come there to make you babysit it. You cannot worry about something and it's going to sit there by itself. You got to sit there with it. When worry comes, it expects you to sit there with it and entertain it day in and day out. When it comes into your life, that's why you have to keep your mind occupied. That's why you have to keep busy. That's why you can't look at this thing and personalize it like, you know, oh, why is this happening? It ain't, it's not you, it's the process. That's just the path that you want. And you got to go through that process in order to keep traveling on that path. Okay? All right. Okay. Um, so listen, I just, I just, speaking of live s streaming, you know, uh, somebody just sent me a contact. 
that I'm a, I'm a, I'm a contact them as to how they do their program with live streaming. And, and we'll see, because I'm going to do these tours, man. You know, everybody done threw, they, threw the towel in on tourism market. Mm -hmm. And th this is not the time. Okay? This is not the time to throw the, t the towel in. All right? This is the time for you to step out on your creativity. This is the time for you to start expressing yourself. This is the time you can put some distance between you and the millions of other people that's going to be looking for a job. See, a lot of y'all didn't use this time. You think you're going to be able to, to jump up and start doing some stuff and not have, have all the kinks worked out. You're going to hit the ground running. It's not that way. You know, you, you're going to you're gonna have to get the kinks out of this stuff, man. You got to get the kinks out. You know, you're going to have to establish a rhythm. You're going to have to establish a flow. And a lot of y'all missed this opportunity to establish a rhythm and a flow. And, and matter of fact, you got out of rhythm because you let yourself go. You know, you relax. You let your guard down. And that, that's what happened. You see, a lot of people, man, I mean, grooming-wise, they, they beard, they, you know, they just let themselves go. Just let themselves go. And you think you're going to pick right back up just like that and get back in the crew. No. It's going to take you a while to make that adjustment. And while you're making that adjustment, you got a whole different set of problems now that you got to deal with. Because even though this virus might have put a pause to the problems, to your responsibility, you still got them after this virus. Your rent still going to have to be paid. Your phone bill still going to have to be paid. Your light bill still going to have to be paid. You might not have them responsibilities or those worries right at this moment. But they still going to have to be paid. And where's the money coming from? I ain't got no stimulus money. No unemployment either. You know? None of that. I, I mean, I'm just so used to doing without. It don't faze me. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm so used to not having it. It don't bother me. I mean, I'm straight up, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you the truth, man. I'm just, I'm just used to not having, so I don't panic when, when, when Bill collect the call. I ain't got it, you know. But what about them that's used to paying their bills on time? I ain't never behind, and now all of a sudden can't pay your bill. You ain't got no money. You know, and for you, and, and you, you, you know, some folk out here like this, man, man, it, it, it tears at their heart that they can't pay their bills on time. And it's a lot of people getting ready to experience this that they're not going to be able to pay their bills on time. They just ain't got the money. Mm. They ain't got it. And for the first time, man, your credit going to take a hit. You done had good credit all your life until Corona came. Now that Corona is here, they messed up everything for you. You was on top of the world until Corona came. Now that Corona is here, you don't know. You you know. It's it's a sad situation. I'm telling you, man. Get your minds right to weather the storm, y'all. It ain't personal. This is a spiritual battle right here. This is a spiritual battle. And I know it seemed like all the people that are lying, getting ahead, you know, you cheating, you, you said, seem like it, that, that's the order of today now. In order to get ahead, you got to lie or kiss somebody's ass or do something unethical, look the other way. You can't be integrity, can't, can't have any integrity. You know, you can't you can't stand for something. That's that's the order of the day now. And it's and it's affecting the whole world. The whole world is being impacted by this.
And it's going to be up to us, the people, to change it, man. We're the only ones that can do something about that. What are you promoting? What are you promoting? Are you promoting something positive? That that's that's that you can't be. <laughs> so don't even tell, don't even tell that lie, cause lying is the order of the day. So so obviously, what little bit you are doing is not effective, and and we gonna have to do better with each other. We just got to do better, man. All right, listen, boy, I just got some information. I gotta call this guy and see about this this lie. Um. I want to do pay-per-view tours live. So I, I just got to lead and, and I'm going to follow it. All right. And hey, man, uh, let's do our part. Let's do our part. Let's be there for one another. We're going to need each other. Even the assholes, you know, you, you don't have to just forgive a man and still give him a cup of water. As 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 bigger assholes if they mm -hmm. have been, we still got to give them some water if they need it, okay? And that's 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 what what being that is being the love of God. You know that's not talking the love of God, and right now we need more people to be the love of God. And when you're being the love of God. You're going to have compassion for your fellow man, man. We're in this together. We, it ain't right, left, Republican, Democrat. It's good versus evil right now. And that right now, evil is having its way. And we just need the good people that will stand up and speak out. That's all we need. Some good people that will stand up and speak out. And only then will we be able to make a difference. Okay? Hey, man, y'all know my motto. When you know they looking at you, give them something to see. Don't worry about your haters, man. Give them something to see. All right? When you know they looking at you, just give them something to see. Now shut them up. All right? That's how you shut them up. You ain't got to fight fire with fire. Just give them something to see. Okay? Until the next time, I see y'all.